We made it. Look at this tree. Look at all the trees. I must be shitting luck today. We got a rip back. Woo! That sucked. Do you smell the nature? Yeah. Smacks you in the face. It's so beautiful. We're Steph and Travis, Canadians who didn't know much about sailing. We didn't let that or a global pandemic stop us from living our dreams, and we've been winging it ever since. We took off from Toronto and made it to Grenada in year one, and we've got no plans on stopping. Subscribe to join our life on the water. Thanks to our patrons who keep the dream going. If you guys watched last week's episode, you know that we've made it to the Azores. Porta is the perfect place to make landfall after 19 days at sea. The murals and artwork left by sailors who've also proudly completed the long passage radiate a sense of community and you can feel it as soon as you set foot on land. Just step foot on land? Do your legs work? <laughs> yeah, surprisingly they do. I thought we would have been totally wibbly wobbly. It's really weird to be in long sleeves. We are going to go check in now and see what the process is like there. We made it. Check-in was super easy, really quick. Yeah, it was good checking in. A lot of boats here. We're not even here 10 minutes and it's like, holy, what a difference. <laughs> like greenery, it's overcast, but it's still so pretty. Yeah. All the cobblestone, the white buildings. Yeah. It's so cool, we're in Europe. <laughs> we're trying to find a bakery so we can get some food. Yeah, we're gonna go for a bit of a walk to find uh, some food. My favorite things to do, go to a coffee shop, have a croissant and a coffee. First thing I had to have a custard tart and we need some Wi-Fi so we can upload some videos. Oh, That's a perfect ramp jump, if that pole wasn't up there. You hit it, you go right here. And then you hop the rail. Down, but you hit this. Okay, we've seen... One of the whale tails. One of the whale tails. Tuna tail right there. We haven't seen the tail in real life, except for the That is a mermaid tail. Before we sailed across. <laughs> Busting out the foul weather gear for once. We bought these brand new before we left and never wore them. He hates that we match. <laughs> I think they're cute. I like the matching. He hates the matching. Yeah, I feel like a turd box. We're we'll probably match a bunch of other people that we've seen already on land wearing these. But I think it's cute. Just look like a poser sailor right now, though. It's all fresh. Poser? <laughs> well, at least we made it across the ocean. Yeah, at least. <laughs> That's a sweet tree. The plants here are like so cool. They're so different. Look at these guys. Yeah, like all the trees are different. It's really awesome. Oh. Smells like fart. Are you gonna pick those boogers out of your nose now? I'm wearing boogers in my nose. What the hell? I'll take it. This is definitely a bike park. There's like cracks <laughs> in here that would just kill a skateboarder. They go flying. Well, maybe it's just because it hasn't been maintained. Yeah, it hasn't been maintained. But yeah, like, yeah, I'd kill a skateboarder here. Oh no, look what they wrote. That's not nice. What? Look what they wrote. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> if the skateboarder was going to this, their wheels would just lock in here and they'd just get planted. <laughs> I've never seen. Oh well, it's good for a bike. We'll come back on a sunny day for sure. Look at that little sandy area. Look at that grand tree. The tree. The boat's so cool. Look at this tree. Look at all the trees. Slow down. Bring it in. Slow down. Bring it in. Whoa.
That, that was fun. That was. It's a good little workout. The little things. Hey, right here. No, you didn't. I was searching. I was going to pick it up, but I wasn't going to. That's a four leaf. No, it's not. One, two, three, four. So lucky. Still waiting for that bag of money. <laughs> Oh, boom, right there. No way! Shut the front door! Four leaf clover right there. Hold on. Stop focusing. What? Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. My luck. You gotta no, find yours. We share. Four leaf clover. Can I see it? You gotta find your own. I just wanna show. He's like, yes, I hold the elusive four leaf clover. There's the proper one. Bam! Oh, that one's perfect. I found one! I must be shitting luck today. <laughs> Look at all these lucky charms. Aww, I'll leave them big. for other people to find. I think so they're they going to get have, blown away. So they can have some luck. Too. Wait, wait, this is the five leaf. You're taller than the door. You were just saying that you didn't see any reptiles. Oh, he was scary. You can totally touch him. This is our size doors. <laughs> I thought this was garbage on the beach. I thought it was a ton of little plastic bottles, but they're all the man of wars uh, we kept seeing. Look. back and move anchor because I just watched the tugboat come to our boat and honk his horn and then in the distance there's a big barge coming or a big freighter coming in they kind of tell you where you anchor here it's uh you might have to move and he's just like right there so we're like just about to go for dinner but we gotta rip it get back and move the boat that sucked. We uh, we just finally got done re-anchoring and stuff so... soaked. I would like literally we pulled anchor and all of a sudden like 30 knot winds just hit us and we're motoring around this tight little anchorage. It started raining. Started pouring rain. And the clothes are in it, they're just hanging. Trying to figure out where we're anchoring and like every time I thought I'd figure out a spot, the wind would just blow us off our mark like as soon as I tried to get to the bow and then it was off. And there's five other boats trying to do the same thing. Oh yeah, there's five other boats that the port authority told to move as well. So you have a tight anchorage, you got five other boats trying to move around this anchorage and another it's getting boat was dark. Into the anchorage. Yeah, another boat was coming in, the big barge was coming in. It had stuff, two guide boats. Stuff we obviously couldn't film because it was pretty time time sensitive. But you know, as you can see it's dark now. And I'm not like I'm not super comfortable with where we ended up anchoring, but I don't think we're gonna move because we've had like 30 knot winds and I backed down on it too. But we're pretty close to boats. Like, I don't know if you can see, but right there, there's a boat. Like, when we turn, we get pretty damn close to them. And then there's a boat in front of us, so I'll probably not really be sleeping tonight, just periodically, like, looking out in the cockpit, making sure we're all good still, but, yay! <laughs> 4.30 in the morning, um, neighbors came knocking on our boat, uh, and we, since the wind shift, like, well, I guess we got super close to them. So they said they were gonna move, but I was like, don't worry about it, I'll move. Um, I was obviously there after you. But this anchorage is very, very busy. And now the winds were predominantly Southeast. So everyone for the last like two days have been fine where they are. And now the, the, the winds are switched and they're coming from uh, Northwest at the moment. There was like a bunch of other people in the anchorage. You've seen their nav lights on, the running lights, and they were uh, they were re-anchoring too because a lot of, a lot of boats are super tight in there, and they're just once the wind shifts, everyone started moving in places they didn't want to be. So I guess that's going to be the difference here from the Caribbean. Caribbean, you always get <laughs> some sort of east winds, north or south of east winds. So when you anchor, you kind of always have an idea. You're pointing in this direction, it'll just be from here or here. They're really big anchorages, I'm tired. Um, but 
we kind of moved in a, a spot that I think will be fine for the next couple of days that we'll have these northwest winds. Shouldn't have to worry about tanker ships or anything like that. So anyways, I'm going to bed. Wait, wait, see. That's just saying. They're seeing more boats here than they have in years. So that just right there means like there's way too many boats in here. <laughs> but is what it is. Time to bed. We're starting the day off strong. We're losing any weight here. Absolutely not. Not with these prices either. It is absolutely beautiful. Birds are chirping, there are swans. We haven't seen swans since we were back in Port Credit in the dock where there were a couple of resident swans. It's the first day that it's actually been sunny in the past couple of days that we've been here. So we thought the colors were vibrant when we got here on an overcast day, but seeing the colors with the sunshine and the perfect weather. We call this weather doing stuff weather. It's about 15 degrees Celsius with a high of 17 today. It's absolutely gorgeous. Travis is just chilling. Yeah, just taking it in. Okay, I've never seen a black swan. The warm sunshine feels so nice. This reminds me of Europe, like it is Europe. So it is Europe, yeah. <laughs> but I love it. The cobblestones, the Victorian style benches, the clock going. The colors, the fountain, the birds chirping, the swans, the flowers, the greenery, the rocks. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's like, it's honestly amazing and it's so beautiful, even <laughs> more beautiful now that the sun is out. And every one of our shots, it's amazing, it's amazing, it is. it's amazing. It's amazing, it's super, it's super, 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 super beautiful. Yeah, I went to Europe like when I was 19, did a backpacking, well, backpacked around Europe. And ever since then, I always wanted to go back because it's just so unique and different and I loved it. So it's so cool to be back here on our own boat. And yeah, it's a pretty cool feeling. It's kind of like, oh man, we're leaving warm Caribbean climates where, you know, you get the really turquoise blue waters that I was obsessed with. But I'm obsessed with this. This is yeah, it's stunning. Totally, totally different. My visual senses are just like going off right now. It's so much. We'll have to change with the boat, like living conditions in the boat, because it's not as hot or warm right now. But hopefully when summer comes in, because we're just in spring, hopefully when summer comes in, the boat will like warm up a bit and it'll be a little more comfortable, but we're loving it. Yeah, yeah. I love this place. Florida, beautiful. Yeah, so we're going to go out and take a walk later today and try to get some wicked uh, shots because I've been jonesing to take photos. Yeah, we're just waiting for our laundry right now because we did have to, we can't dry it anymore on the boat because it's just yeah, no too more. damp and cold. No more laundry on the boat. Yeah. The laundry machines in the marina here are packed today. We walked in and saw it and it was just mounds of laundry being Oh Dude. yeah, everyone just across the ocean's got tons of laundry. Oh, yeah. Luckily, the lady managing it was like, do you have a small load? Like, yeah, she totally- it all in this machine, so. She, she totally just oh, squeezed yeah. this in front of everybody. I was like, cool, thank you. <laughs> Abrigada. Ab Abrigada. Abrigada. You gotta be like, abri. Yeah, they said it's like, brr. Abrigada. They speak Portuguese here, and that's a language that we haven't really heard much. Uh, we've heard, yeah, Spanish, you know, the different, uh, languages that we've come across so far, Spanish, French, we've heard. So we're learning our basics, like please and thank you. Yeah. Por favor and obrigada. Obrigada was like the most important. We just wanted to like say thank you. It's nice Point. to be familiar with the language in the place that you're at. So we'll definitely, well, I know I love learning it. So. If I'm trying, yeah. then I don't feel so rude. Like even if I'm making English hand here. signals. <laughs> A lot of people do speak English here, but then the merci comes out. Yeah, oh, oh, it's <laughs> saying every which language we said before. <laughs> After laundry, took a little nap because we were pretty tired from having to 
wake up in the middle of the night to re-anchor, didn't get much sleep. Plus we went to bed really late before having to be woken up for that re-anchoring. So now we are going on a little hike and going to get some picturesque views. Not yeah. that it's not already picturesque, just like halfway up, it's so pretty. Yeah, see where this leads? And I think we're gonna go out and eat tonight. And I think where we're gonna go eat is right there by that tree. It's a celebratory crossing dinner that we haven't had yet. Yeah, our friends should be joining us. But let's see where this goes. I like the I like this. There's a lookout. That's such a cool lookout. It's like straight down right right here, but So we realized how much our legs don't work and we're not even that high up, but so cool. Oh. <laughs> it always turns off. Those bells are going for like a minute and I was like, ooh, I should get them. And then I grabbed the GoPro and filmed, they turn off. Obviously. Oh. oh. Here we go. smell the nature yeah it smacks you in the face it's so beautiful yeah and it really smells like life <laughs> like it just smells well, I don't know it's just not dry you know what I mean like nothing's all dried up everything is so lush so green and even the ground like it's not dry dirt yeah. everything yeah. feels like I don't know it's alive like it's just not dried up trails that we've gotten used to walking a lot of the time because the Sun is so strong but here it's just it's a lot of cloud cover, but it does. It's really cool to see all this vegetation. Yeah, it's, it's just like kind of we're we're in shock of it. We're spending so much time in the Caribbean. I know well, I keep saying that, but sure it's just a, a nice change up. I know it's a nice change up, and it's something new for us, and it's exciting. I'm gonna do a turnaround for you. Oh wow! Look at that road. Boom! Perfectly paved. Look at that. Oh wow! That is a good road yeah it's a really good road if you're a motorcycler that is a road you want to go on I think we're gonna have a hard time here with what leaving uh, no just uh, probably filming too much footage and then it's like how do we make all this just show because it's so freaking pretty you guys okay with 30 minute videos <laughs> I know Steph would hate that, it's a lot of editing, but... Every view, every turn. It's just, it's just a cute little town, super old, and everything's just very clean. Lush. Lush, and then you got like cool features like this, like mountain hills to go over, and then valleys to go down, and then up the other side. Yeah, the clouds are starting to be really cool right now. It's that time of day. Scoping out spots that I want to come back and possibly take some good photos of the right lighting. Thank <laughs> you.